when people read solomon's songs a lot of critic a lot of criticism is raised because of the description of sex in solomon's songs in bible a lot of people have actually paid for huge amounts of money to go and have sex with their girlfriend or partner but call it tantra 3 4000 dollars were charged to to a uh, to, a, to an acquaintance friend of mine he went out there with his girlfriend and they learned to, to do sex and it was said this is a special master class of tantra sex is everywhere in all cultures and in some cultures it is frowned upon because it seems to put you the person against god so either you in have sex or you can grow towards god so all the monasteries etc they had very strict rules about celibacy and it still is there and maybe for those times it was correct but indian scriptures are very straightforward that god is in everything so why not in sex and most of us are not going to be able to see god in sex of course because we are conditioned different oh sex is bad or good or whatever but it's our conditioned mind and sex in our society can be a way of domination can be a way of making a statement you are having sex then you are uh, doing something either that others also want whatever but it has it's more than an activity it's a statement whether you have achieved something whether you are lucky in life or not lucky in life so when we fall in love of course the first thing that we fall in love with is with the face of the person that we see and god also has a face so we have to first love the face of god and then with that confidence love whoever we see god in first so closing eyes everyone is really concerned about their face face is the one thing that losing face is the in japan if someone loses face they can even commit suicide face is so important emperors etc they try to leave uh, their faces on their coins and the statues everywhere they everyone tries to leave a legacy with their face attached as it was as if it's such a big thing a nose and two eyes is a big thing but we are very attached and people spend hours everyone in front of a mirror people can actually get hypnotized by whatever they look like people can fall in love with themselves that's how narcissistic behavior starts now when we close our eyes we see an emptiness inside so our consciousness is nameless and formless and it is packed for the time being in this body and when our eyes are open we see things in which everything is changing but our illusions are so strong that we think that everything is constant one and unchanging but everything is changing time space uh, you yourself the power of your thoughts everything is keep on keeps on continually changing in such a great speed that we are not able to cope or understand or let alone notice it the change in your body for the last 3 minutes no? but when we close our eyes we see nothing inside us when we open our eyes 
we see the world if we want to call it like that but it is actually a phenomenon in which 99% of whatever we see is not really there it is just an illusion created by the play of energy a molecule bonding creates the denseness of the body that makes your body hard so that it does not fall through earth different levels of molecular bonding different levels of density of them so with eyes closed we see nothing inside our eyes with eyes open we see a world in which everything is changing and it's not really there because whatever is changing is not really there so we take that to be the reality but when we close our eyes we see nothing and we take that to be a fiction all spirituality says is that what that what you experience when your eyes are closed and your sense powers are directed inside you that is the truth the the unchanging and everything that you see from your senses and perceive is an illusion in the external world even in the illusions in all the atoms in all the molecules in everything that you see and you don't see is the signature of the creator think of it that when you open your eyes you you find yourself immersed in an ocean and whatever you see is the face of god your life is definitely a face of god that you are seeing but you don't see you see it as oh it's my life but no one really understands what life is no one even really knows what is that power of consciousness saying i am here what is that no one knows we just give it different names oh this is my consciousness this is my power of thinking this is the world that i see it etc but the world is changing the power of thinking also changes that which it sees inside cannot be truly be seen just like a person holding the torch the torch cannot throw light its on itself except when there is a reflection and that's why bible gita quran are there to make to give you a reflection to your consciousness of the truth and when you know that everything around you is god and your life is the face of god that is actually kissing you because you it is touching you so you have to say to the face of god that is your life i love you om namo shiva our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on heaven as it is on this day give us our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us Lead us from temptation. Deliver us from it. Hand it the power that you do it. Now that you know that your life is the face of God, and you say to your life, "I love you," now you can love everything and everyone in your life, especially with the people who have played any part. There is no coincidence of this. Anyone who is with you, any partner, is there with you because the souls are intertwined. across many lives across many universes without that intertwining of lives and each intertwining has a has a meaning to it without that intertwining of lives there is never going to be a connection connection means connection means that there is something that you need to learn from the person and there is something that the person needs to be learned so it's all a service timia is joining and i know that we have been praying for timia as she is going through a relationship place of residence and a job so we are all going to be praying for her and enabling her to see god the hand of god in everything and everyone and today someone looking for a job said when will this if 
finish and I had to explain that this will, the stage of life changes when you become, when you become equanimous. If you're totally, I want this job, I want this job, I want this relationship, it doesn't work out. But when you are equanimous, seeing the face of God in everything that you have and in everything that you don't have, and you are equanimous, you are able to see the blessing in not having a relationship, in not having the job of your choice, in not having the relationship of your choice, in not having the circumstances of your choice. When we see the blessing, then the situation changes. Because the situation is out there for our spiritual growth. So with team and the team, we are again going to be doing seeing the face of God in all our adversity. And we are going to say to that adversity, whatever hurts us, I love you. And we are going to be doing, with the same model, we are going to be doing 108 times of Gayatri month for Timia to be able to land a job because a job will provide accommodation. Accommodation will lead later on to freedom from this relationship and get on to the next one. So just become an instrument with, as the mantra will flow through you. A mantra is actually always a prayer. Let it flow through your, through you. That flow of energy inside you with your heart, which is shining and golden, is the true eternal you. Everything that you see around you is the face of God. Rather, it is powered by the face of God. But everything is illusory. It's a phenomenon. It's not a word. What you see in the darkness inside you is the truth. And what you see is the game of the Lord, one of the faces of God. And you have to use the mantra to say, I love you, and to help those who are looking for a job, relationship, place to live, whatever the issue is. We are blessing others. And the moment we bless others, it's like we acknowledge that we are billionaires because only a billionaire can spread around the blessings. Om spiritual billionaire. Om bhur bhusa tat savidwarin bharko divas dimai diyo yona prachodena Om bhur bhusa Keep on saying to, with the mantra, helping those who are looking for a job relationship in our group and saying to God, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love my life. I'm full of gratitude for my life. That is the declaration of love that we are declaring to God on Valentine's Day and on to all our partners, which is anyone who has played any part in now in this life or any other. Om Bhuru Tat Satwarinyam Bhargo Devas Dimai Dhyoyona Prachodaya Om Bhuru Tat Satwarinyam Bhargo Devas Dimai Dhyoyona Prachodaya Om Bhuru Satvarinyam Bhargo Divas Dimai Dhyo Yona Prachodaya Om Bhurva Tat Satvarinyam Bhargo Divas Dimai Dhyo Yona Prachodaya Om Bhurva Tat Satvarinyam Bhargo Divas Dimai Dhyo Yona Prachodaya Om Bhurvasa Tat Satvarinyam Bhargo Divas Dimai Dhyo Yona Prachodaya Om Bhurvasa Tat Satvarinyam Bhargo Divas Dimai Dhyo Yona Prachodaya Om Bhurvasa Tat Satvarinyam Bhargo Divas Dimai Dhyo Yona Prachodaya Om Bhur Vosa Tat Satvarinyam Bhargo Devas Dimai Dhyo Yona Prachodhyam Om Bhur Vosa Tat 
सौतोरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्ो यो नचोदूर्वोस्तोरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम भूर्वोस्व तत्सौरिण्यम भर्गो दीवस्मी दियो यो न प्रचोदया ओ with the flow of the mantra see yourself as being totally transparent see yourself in your past lives just with a golden love different bodies but with the same golden heart walking through many lives through many dimensions through many universes to be here right now and receive the enlightenment of a golden heart which you are spreading all across your body all across the universe all across and you see the face of god in everything and everyone and when you say to a partner i love you you see the golden heart of everything and everyone om breathe in om namo your hearts are connected to everything and na in your heart mo in the heart of everything and everyone shiva i become one with the whole eternal universe and creation shiva
Shiva. See yourself as saying love, I love you, to your life. That is the face of God. That is the first parameter of becoming enlightened. Om Namo Shiva. See your life as an entity, as a person, and say I love you. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. All your pain, fear, anger, doubts and judgments are released when you say I love you to your own life. Because you and your life are one. So you are letting go. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva Irina. Om Namo Shiva. Keep on breathing and breathing out through the heart. Om Namo Shiva. Hal, you had a tough day, you told us. So we are praying for you three times. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Paras, Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva, Catherine, so that you do well in your new job. Om Namo Shiva, Galya. Om Namo Shiva, Han. Om Namo Shiva, Irina. Om Namo Shiva, Jean and daughter and son. Om Namo Shiva, Om Namo Shiva. Cat, Om Namo Shiva, Om Namo Shiva, Om Namo Shiva. Katusha and children, Vova and Rita. Om Namo Shiva, Om Namo Shiva, Om Namo Shiva. Tusha and sister, Om Namo Shiva, Om Na and mother and father, Om Namo Shiva, Om Na and children, of course, Om Namo Shiva, Om Namo and whole family, Om Namo Shiva and Julia, Om Namo Shiva, Paras, Om Namo Shiva, Om Namo Shiva. Timia, everyone is praying for your health and for your job and for you to be able to get over this difficult period in your life. Keep trusting the universe and keep saying to the universe and to your life, I love you, I love you, I love you. Om Namo Shiva, Om Namo Shiva, Om Namo Shiva. Om Sarve Bhavanti Sarvinam, Sarve Shantu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu, Makashyatik Tegu. Today is Valentine's Day, so your heart is going to be opening very naturally with Om Namo Shiva Irina, Om Namo Shaji. Om Namasha Kat, Om Namasha Katusha, Om Namasha Sush, Om Namasha Paras, Om Namasha Timya, Om Namasha Catherine, Om Namasha Gal, Om Namasha Hat, Om Shanti 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 Shanti, Om Shanti 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 Shanti, Hari Yom, Om Tatsa, Hell, you will have like nine, ten more days of this stress, but then it will be better. Om Namasha, Om Namasha, Om Namasha. Take care till tomorrow, 6 pm. Thank you so much.